Working on the COVID response with lots of external partners. So you'll all remember back in March 2020, as the pandemic started to sweep across the globe, there was a lack of global testing capacity, GP practices, one mental health trust in London, and four research institutes. And in the course of that, we managed to ramp up to 4,000 tests a day. During the COVID. Mr. President. Hello. Morning, sir. Morning. 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 Morning, morning. How are you? Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And the, and the, uh, the, oh. Hello. Did you have a visit yesterday? Yeah. So they come to oh, us. Uh, uh, I've got uh, these yeah. very precious samples. I want to know if it's the new variant. Yes. Can you do it now? Yes. And if we have already planned the day, then certainly we are too busy to do anything. Of these, a disproportionate number are in Africa, and this is one of the reasons. South Africa, and we've also got relationships with Uganda and Kenya. Having said that, it's interdisciplinary programme of experts to work together to achieve this. So here's some of the amazing team that I've been privileged to work with on these projects and that we'll continue to work with. No <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Is that the building?